Hello and welcome to another Mario Party 3 minigame review! Well, we have another Baby Bowser minigame for you today with the 2 vs 2 Baby Bowser broadside. Every player controls a cannon and you have to shoot as many shots at the Baby Bowser target in the middle as possible. Whichever team racks up the most points before time is up wins. Man, shooting a target of a baby. Mario and his friends really are ruthless. What did you think of this one? This one was fun! I thought it was kind of strange that it was a 2 vs 2 minigame because I kind of felt like it should have been a free-for-all. The 2 vs 2 didn't hold it back, but it also didn't really add anything. That doesn't mean it wasn't fun though. Yeah, I mean I had a lot of fun with it. It was really rewarding when you knew your cannonball was the one hitting the baby Bowser. A lot of times our minigames came down to the wire, so it was the last couple of hits that really mattered. And when you knew it was yours, you felt accomplished. Yeah, it was always good to win it for your team. One thing I will say though is that sometimes it was hard to tell if you were actually hitting Baby Bowser or not. There's so many cannonballs heading towards Baby Bowser that it's hard to tell which ones are yours. So you can think you're hitting Baby Bowser and then realize you're actually shooting them off center a little bit. That's always a little annoying. Yeah, I think it led to having to adjust a lot. Because the center is moving, you needed to make sure your cannon was always in the right spot, which sometimes took up a little bit more time than I would have liked. So overall, this was an okay minigame. I don't think it's one of our top favorites, but it's definitely not bad. It's a good little carnival game where you just try and shoot as many cannonballs at Baby Bowser as you can. It's really rewarding to see your score rack up when you're just shooting tons of cannonballs at them, but sometimes it can be hard to tell which ones are yours, which puts you in a situation where you can realize you're actually not hitting Baby Bowser after all. That doesn't totally ruin this minigame though, so we're still going to give it 3 stars out of 5. Yeah, this one was a solid minigame. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Next up, we'll be reviewing Bobbing Balloon. Gotta love a minigame with a good pun name. Let's see how the gameplay stacks up. Hope, Hope to, to see, see you then. then.